Hello everybody, my name is Dabs and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods on almost any game, but today we're going to be using the game called uh, Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Alright, so this right here, this is called, um, this is called Mobile VR Station. Alright, so this right here. This is what you're going to be using to actually install mods on. But first off, we're going to go over to our browser. You're going to go into here. And you're going to type in Nexus Mods. Alright, you're going to go here. And you're going to go into Nexus Mods. You're going to need an account. So if you don't have an account, create one. And then go into that. And then, so, I already have the mod that I want downloaded, but make sure when you, uh, the, the easiest way to do it is to click that games tab, and then type in Nomad. Once you get into here, oh, hold on, go back to games, mods. Okay, make sure that says games, all right? And then type in Nomad. And if that doesn't pop up, um, usually, like, just look up the mod that you want if you cannot find or go into Bl Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Don't ever just go into Blade and Sorcery because that's the one on PC, and the mods there usually aren't compatible. So, basically, you'll go here, you'll download your mods, and then you will go back to Mobile VR Station. It's available through App Lab, um, so you can either look it up in the Quest Store itself, or you can go on your phone if you have the, uh, the MetaQuest app, and just go on your phone, type in like the search bar, like Safari or whatever you use, type in um, like App Lab, and then once you go there, um, go through like their stuff, and you'll find this thing. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into local files. You're gonna wanna go into all folders, and then Android. Once you're in Android, you're gonna go to data, and then switch to scope storage. Now once you're here, nothing really should pop up. Every time that you do this, you have to go into switch to uh, uh, scope storage actions. And then go up to the very top and request access. You're going to see all this pop up. Click use this folder. Um, if you click it and it doesn't show up, just exit out of this. Press that X right there down there and then boom yeah press that X and then go out and then just go back in alright so then we're gonna go over here switch to scope storage and if everything pops up you are good so we're gonna go out of this and we're going to go into download this is where everything should be right here these two are the mods that I'm putting into the game so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your mod. It should look blue. It should have this right here. So you're just going to click on that. Press extract files. And then once it's extracted, you should be good. It should pop up as a file. Now you're going to go to view edit toggle. And you're going to click on this. And you're going to press copy. Very important. And then... You remember the, um, go back up. Remember this, you're going to go here, back to data, and then switch to scope storage. Now, you're going to want to go and look for this right here. It'll have all of your games that you have, but you're going to want to find Blade and Sorcery. Then you want to go to Files, Mods. And then this is where you're going to be putting in. And literally all you have to do, click view edit toggle, wait for it to show up, and then paste. 
and then it'll say okay you'll click that and it should be in there if you really want to check go through all of these are uh, alphabetized so for me I would be looking in the G area right there so it's there and it should be there um, yeah it should be there all of that click view edit toggle back back and I'm gonna download one more um, which is that that knife that I showed you guys um, so we're gonna go back into download Ghostface knife extract files okay view edit toggle ghost face knife copy back 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 all folders Android data switch to scope storage for me it's all the way down blade and sorcery files mods view edit toggle paste okay and then we're just going to find that to make sure it's in here. I think I went down too much. Ghost face knife. All right. So once you see it in here, you yeah. should be good to pop out of this and go into Blade and Sorcery. Of course, with Blade and Sorcery, you have to go through the very many loading screens. Gotta load all of this in. I have a lot of mods on this game. If y'all ever want to, uh, alright, skip this. If y'all ever want, uh, videos on, like, the mods that I have, uh, I can do, okay. So this will show you for a split second every single mod you have. If you see that the mod that you just put in is there on this little area, like if you just for a second, like I saw a ghost face, that means the mod is in there. I'm gonna click play. for this to load and then we'll just pop over here And right here so that is literally it that's all you need to download mods it's really just your browser the game itself and mobile VR station I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video um, and I hope you guys have a great day this has been fun like subscribe comment on what you want to see me put into blade and sorcery or any other VR games or any PlayStation games you guys would like me to play. And I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah.